Out of the Texans as they wrap up their third day of training camp. As we've been reporting all week, the team is in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. And while football may be the big story there right now, that was not always the case. No, just last year, the area was actually devastated by flooding. One of the homes damaged, belonging to none other than Rockets head coach Mike D'Antoni and his family. Channel 2's Keith Garvin caught up with them today and joins us live now with their story. Keith? Hey there, sir. Jonathan, you know, it's been more than a year since the de those deadly floods. And take a look. We are in a neighborhood about a mile away from the Greenbrier, and this is an entire row of homes that were damaged by the floods. They were abandoned and then bought by the government. Let me take you inside. This is one of those homes in that neighborhood, and you can see some of the damage that was left behind. The walls, of course, had to be ripped out after the floodwaters came in. Still some mud on the walls and some mud on the floor as well. They also suffered a lot of damage at the Greenbrier, and the Rockets head coach, his wife, was lucky to make it out alive. So it came up really fast. This little creek that's back here right now, the water just was coming up so fast. Laurel D'Antoni, wife of Rockets head coach Mike D'Antoni, recalls last year's deadly flooding that killed 24 people in White Sulphur Springs and surrounding communities. We were completely surrounded. There's, um, I think they found about 17 cars inside this creek buried. The D'Antonis own a home here at the Greenbrier where the floodwaters also struck. The worst of it was on NBA draft day just three weeks after the Rockets had hired coach D'Antoni. Laurel was here alone. He was in the Rockets draft room in Houston. So I didn't realize what was going on or how the devastation was or how bad it was because she kind of kept me in the dark on purpose. I know it's the draft and it was so important. He had just got hired by Houston. You know, the draft is important. You know, it's the future of our club. There's really nothing that he can do. So she sent the coach video updates throughout the day. Just complete devastation and this is nothing compared to white sulfur. At one point, once the water covered the streets outside, she had to be rescued by a boat crew. And she's going, hey, Mike, it's getting closer, it's getting closer. And then I, I hear her on the phone sloshing through water, getting the heck out. The community has drawn together to recover, but there are still a lot of homes and lives in need of repair. Laurel D'Antoni is urging people to not forget. I don't want people to lose focus after any national disaster. There's ways to ask people, what else can we do? And when the Saints were here last year, they helped with flood recovery efforts. The Texans, while they're in town, they do have some community events scheduled, and there's a chance that they might help in those regards as well. The people, though, here have recovered in a great way since last June, but there's still quite a bit of work to do. Reporting live from White Sulphur Springs, Keith Garvin, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right.